Manchester. Famous for industrial revolution, famous for sport, and famous for music. But what about tech? It may not be the first city that comes to mind when you think of the world's top technology hubs, but Manchester's tech scene is growing and already boasts some impressive success stories. Accommodation booking site Late Rooms, fashion e-tailer Boohoo, and e-commerce site Autotrader, and many more all call Manchester home. So what exactly does Manchester have to offer burgeoning tech companies? To find out, I headed to Manchester Science Partnership's central campus, home to over 170 companies in sectors including life science, health tech and ICT. Science and technology are driving the growth of our economy um, and they're young and growing sectors. And so part of the role that we play is to support those young businesses working with them to understand where there are gaps in the supply chain, where there are gaps in skills and knowledge and resources, and then working with them and with other stakeholders to fill those gaps. We um, work with and support companies at every stage of their life cycle. So everything from one, two person startups in our incubators, the whole way up to global corporates and everything in between. Uh, so it's a very rich, diverse business community. And we work very closely with those companies um, to connect them um, together with each other, um, connect them to the right support, uh, whether that's um, access to, to funding, um, access to knowledge resources and um, R&D support, um, just a whole range of services really to accelerate their growth. The Greater Manchester Combined Authority is keen to encourage growth in the digital, creative and technology sector. Along with the European Regional Development Fund, it backs a variety of projects offering support to local tech businesses. This support ranges from tailored one-to-one -one mentorship opportunities, free advice on gaining investment and access to professional training. A lot of the city's tech activity takes place on Innovation Corridor, which runs between the University of Manchester and Manchester Metropolitan University. The presence of these universities, which have a strong reputation for their engineering and technical courses, means there's an abundance of talented graduates on the doorstep. We started off as a spin-out from the university, so uh, half the company originated uh, from Manchester University, they did their PhDs, um, and the Manchester Science Park was a natural progression to come after the university. It's been quite easy to grow our team. We have taken a lot of new personnel from the university. Uh, we've taken on some new graduates, and we've even taken on some uh, older graduates who have had years of experience, who, who went back to university, did PhDs in electronics, and then um, we've taken them on. So it's been quite easy to do that. Another selling point for Manchester is its location. It's only two hours on the train from London and a short journey to other cities such as Birmingham, Leeds and Sheffield. Its international airport also makes overseas travel an easy option. Travel within the city is also extremely easy. The tram, train and bus networks make commuting and getting from A to B a doddle. Plus its relative small size makes cycling a preferred option for many. Manchester is a great place to start any business, but in particular a technology startup. Being based in Manchester allows us also to keep our cost base down. So uh, the cost of rent, but also salaries, is significantly lower than it is in other parts of the country. Incredibly, for Mismo, two and a half years old, we're actually one of the more established and mature uh, startups within Manchester. Um, winding back two and a half years ago, it very much felt as if we were one of the only ones there. Fast forward to now, and there's a really blossoming startup community of people uh, starting new businesses. There's now two, at least two accelerators in the city centre, um, and just fantastic events and a real sort of sense of momentum that. Now Manchester has a startup community and it's going places and growing very quickly. An area that's partly facilitating this growth is Media City UK. The £950 million, 200 acre development in Salford opened in 2011 and has brought a number of digital and creative companies to the area, including the likes of the BBC and ITV Granada. It's also home to more than 80 startups and SMEs. Elsewhere, there are a number of other startup friendly workspaces, including Sharp Project, Spaceport X, InnoSpace Manchester, and Rise Manchester. The tech community is soon to gain a new facility called My Idea. It's being developed by Manchester Science Partnerships and Cisco and is set to open in early 2017. The technology company set up post accelerator Idea London back in 2013, and My Idea will be the Manchester equivalent. 
The model for Ideal London was to look at a co-development environment which would provide significant partners, so Cisco, UCL, DC Thompson, with access to interesting startups, provide support for them, a whole range of different types of support. It might be working space, uh, it might be guidance and advice around intellectual property, uh, trademarking and so forth. Uh, give them the best possible start, you know, let them focus on delivering the solution that they're developing to the marketplace uh, and then the rest of it can take care of itself. What we recognised was we could take exactly the same model but bring it to Manchester. My idea will host a variety of startups, but Cisco is particularly interested in those working in the Internet of Things space. It's currently a very hot topic in Manchester, especially since the city won £10 million in government funding to develop a project called CityVerve, which focuses on IoT and smart cities. The competition received 22 entries involving 34 cities across the UK, but the judges decided there was no better place for the funding than Manchester. Generally speaking, certainly from a Cisco perspective, I can't think of any better place we could be in the UK. You know, there is a there is a, an old saying that you know Man, Manchester and Mancunians are all about getting things done. Don't just talk about it; just do it. Uh, and that's a truism. It, it's absolutely true. And uh, I think that's one of the things that um, stands out for me every day in the way that we operate and engage in the community. We've heard about the Mancunian attitude, the talent pool and facilities that are available to tech companies in Manchester, but what else does the city have to offer? Manchester is a brilliant place uh, to live as well as work. It has all the vibrancy of a metropolitan city, so art, culture, museums, places like Mosey, personal favourite of mine. Um, but it's also small enough to be manageable and it's also super close to some incredible countryside. Love going camping out there. The city centre itself is incredible for nightlife and food. They put gravy on chips here, that's pretty cool. Um, and I absolutely adore it, I adore it. Manchester's brilliant for its culture. Um, for its music scene, for its literature, for its debating societies, for its sport. We're less than an hour to the beauty that lies north of here and up to the Lake District. There's really not much that isn't around, but the thing which for me overrides all of that and its importance is that we are culturally diverse, we're socially inclusive, and we passionately believe in tolerance and inclusiveness as the key to healthy societies. These are hallmarks of the Manchester culture and way of doing things.